Okay, so I have the first notch cut out. And so hopefully that will be enough to allow me to hammer this piece down to here. So now I need to cut an angle like across here, like that. Had to figure out where the sparks were flying that went them flying in my face so I had to keep adjusting the bicycle <laughs> but let's see if I can get this yeah it's moving so I'm sure it's ready guess it's time to cut the rest of the frame so it looks like just right here chop this part off Let me get a better angle for you so I need I need this tube and I need this. So I'm just gonna chop these two off. And since this is already separated here, all this should come off. I just need to go right here, cut this and cut these two and that should be it, that should work. This is what I need. Yikes. That looks scary right now. So we're going to hammer that down. And, uh, yeah, it's coming along. Because there's a lot of space between the two pieces of metal, I'm gonna just try to add some metal on the top, add some metal on the bottom, and connect it that way. So it might be a little messy, and this, um, this metal is really thin, so I have it on the, uh, uh, the least powerful setting, 
and we'll we'll see how it goes. Yeah, well, <laughs> hi, I'm not a welder, Betty. <laughs>
doing right now. This piece is just clamped on here. I welded two on here yesterday, but I didn't like the way it looked. So I cut them off. We'll be using the straight bar to the, to this, like, what I'm gonna do is sit it on the ground, put a block under it so I'll know exactly how high it is from the ground. And I will put, it's gonna be like this, but I have to cut this at a, um, a little angle that matches this. And so whatever the, the rake it is, I will figure that out and I'll put it here and trace along, trace along here then we will take it over to the bandsaw, cut that out, and then I weld this to the bike, weld this to the frame. So I'll just weld that in there and weld this to here. Before I do that, I weld my bearing holders on here so we'll know exactly how high off the ground it should be. So a one inch piece of metal fits right under there and it's level on the level. So it's like one inch off the ground. I could have welded these plates a little bit lower like on the side but I wanted room to make sure that the nuts were able to be unscrewed if I if I um, welded it any lower it would be really hard to fit a socket in there uh, if I needed to change it for any reason Yep. 
Yep, it's coming along. I guess I'll go ahead and weld that on there. To uh, give it more support we added this bar here and also these I still need to uh, weld this on it's just tacked and I need to clean it all up and make it look good check the mic and make sure it sound right boys bolts snug on the engine and the tension feels right on the chain. I need to tighten all of the, make sure um, the sprocket, the, the collar, all of that is tight. I need to go ahead and put in the keyway for that sprocket and uh, prop it up on something. Yeah, prop it up on something so it doesn't take off and uh, crank that motor and we'll see if it runs. I don't think I'm gonna crank it yet. I'm gonna wait to get these wires figured out before I crank it, just because I really would hate some kind of disaster to happen. <laughs> I can only imagine. So that's gonna be good for now. I mean, I don't even have the throttle cable yet, so there's no reason to uh, even mess with that, because I still need to hook throttle cable up. So let's get the seat taken care of. That should be a good, easy thing to tie this all together. Accurate as possible here. These will be the holes for our seat. I've got to get this frame all prettied up. Uh, today I am going to make sure all the wet, I got more welds to do, I got a lot of grinding to do, sanding, 
and um, I'll try to get some Bondo on this, sand that down, and get it all ready for paint. So we are getting there. Yesterday, I'm sitting there trying to put on the, the axle of the motor. I need to paint it first. I can't even put the seat on until after I paint it. So that will be our next three steps. Welding, grinding, bondoing, and painting. Four steps. <laughs> so let's keep on working. Just welding along, minding my own business, and I hear a sound. You know what it sounds like? Mm, rats or squirrels. So you know what that sound from inside the welding machine? <laughs> I'm guessing that's full of um, wire unraveled in there. <laughs> I haven't opened it up yet. <laughs> Let's go see together, shall we? <sighs> I don't want to open it up. I'm thinking maybe I should wear something because it's going to pop out and hit me. I don't think so. I think it's still rolled up in there. It's just unraveled off the thing. Let's see.
set of this garage today. I got stuff everywhere. <laughs> but this, I made battery box out of some angle steel, whatever. I call it angle iron, but um, anyways. Uh, need to grind out the insides a little bit and then weld it to three and a half inches from the back so it doesn't interfere with the uh, sprocket. So it's going to go right in there, something like that. Uh, I got these thinking maybe it needs more support, but I mean if I weld that, uh, I don't know if it's going to hold the battery or if I should just uh, weld these as well for support. I even got this extra one cut to weld in the back if I need it. I just, I'll weld just, uh, just the angle first and see how that holds. All right, I got my battery put in there. Some rubber grommets here. I cut off the, the threads because it was built for a regular battery, so they were longer. I put a piece of rubber under here. This is totally steady, not going anywhere. We'll let that dry and I'll go get some more because I only bought two cans and that's one can so I know I'm gonna need a little bit more than that. It's called sandable primer so uh, I should have got like filler primer so it would give me more room to um, maybe fill in all the imperfections a little bit better but I pray spray this pretty thick so after it dries, we'll sand it, see what happens, 
and uh, I'll pick up a couple more cans of primer and maybe even get some paint. So we'll be back in just one minute and I'm back. <laughs> so um, I went around to different stores looking to see if there was any different color paint and um, I saw a color that was really cool looking. So I said, yeah, that's what color I'm gonna paint. The, uh, the trike. So, purple, matte electric purple. They only had one can there, but I ordered two more for them. They're going to send it on the hub, so it'll be here uh, this afternoon. They'll call me and let me know when I got the other cans in. So purple it is. <laughs> so let me get back to priming some more. This is dry, sand it. I got some sandable primer or some filler primer, and um, we'll get the rest of this primed up so we can paint it. All right, had to go get my last can of paint. They had to have it shipped from another store. I got it flipped over. Gonna paint the bottom, let that dry and start assembling it. We're always there. This was the longest toilet paper we could find. And um, it doesn't give me any room to route it down and around anything because it is right, right there. So when I turn, I'm going to have to be careful. I'll search around see if I could find something longer and replace it. It's simple to, to replace, so that won't be a problem. But for now, that's what we got. I gotta put the wheel and the brake on and we're pretty much done.
It's good. That looks good. I tried to crank it and it almost cranked, but it kind of jumped and I'm worried it's going to fall off of these. So I'd rather put it down on the ground before I crack it and I can't lift it now. So I got to wait till tonight um, before I can get it down. But let's just have a little walk around and see, see it. And there we have it. All of that work. What was it? 12, 13 days worth of work. And it is complete. We now have a drift trike. And the last step to turn this into a drift trike is to add the PVC sleeve. We're done. Drift trike's complete. The only thing left now is to drive it. And it is time for me to test drive it. I need to put my hair up and we're gonna take this to, I got a little circle right down at the end of my street here and we're gonna see how this thing runs. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad I just wanna stay bad, stay mad Shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm sick of being cautious, I'ma go cautious <sighs> That was a whole lot of fun So, we got it done It's running, it's spinning Man That's, that was totally worth it so uh thank you all for following me along on this drift trike build journey who knows what i'm gonna do next <sighs> remember like subscribe tell your friends and most of all have a wonderful night <laughs> take care bye bye